I think the first thing is to be aware of what your breasts are like normally okay. uh, and to know the early signs of breast cancer. Uh, it's, it's half of women don't know what they are. So can we recap Let's, and show people what yep, they are? Can't see it the first thing to do is <clears throat> look for any visible changes in the breast tissue. Look at the size, the contour, the shape, and look for any discoloration of yep. the breast. They won't be symmetrical necessarily on both sides. They rarely are but look for any individual new change on either breast. That's the first thing. Yeah. But also look for any skin changes. Look for any dimpling, puckering, pulling in. Look for any discoloration, any rash, particularly around the nipple area, or any sores. Obviously look for any lumps or bumps, and then feel for any lumps or bumps. Mm -hmm. And of course, any discharge from the nipple, whether it's clear, milky, or blood-stained, any changes like that, you need to report them to your doctor. because. Sure. Early diagnosis is key. If we can catch cancers early, we can make a proper diagnosis and do something about them and potentially save somebody's life. So this is Michelle, who Hi, Michelle. bravely <laughs> volunteered to Great. do the self-examination today. Mm -hmm. If you wouldn't mind, Michelle, give me the robe to yeah. give to Lorraine, and, and, and we will well. talk through the self-examination. So first of all, for viewers at home, they're going to be looking in the mirror to do this. Right. But our mirror, Michelle, is the camera. So imagine the camera is your mirror. You're looking into the mirror. First of all, with your hands just down, relaxed down by your side. You're looking at the breast for any change in the shape, the size, the contour of the breast, any discoloration at all. Mm -hmm. As I say, they might not be completely symmetrical in, in many women. Doesn't matter. You're looking for change. Now put your hands on your hips. Press in. This flexes the chest muscles oh, okay. and can reveal any kind of change in, in shape or size that you wouldn't <laughs> notice. Just relaxed. And then move slightly to the side. Look at the outer part of the breast. The outer part of the breast actually where most cancers are, are found. Oh, okay. So you've done that. Now I want you to raise your hands above your head. Again, this changes the kind of muscles of the chest that you're using. And again, you might see any changes that you haven't seen with your hands relaxed on your okay. hips. Now, back to the hands on the hips. And we're going to leave the left uh, hand on the hip all the time now because you're going to use your right hand to examine your left breast. Right. What we've done here to make things easier is we've divided the left breast into a sort of imaginary four quarters. Okay. So we've used an eyeliner oh, to make a line down through the nipple right. and then across horizontally through the nipple. Yeah, I can see that. And we've yep. got four quarters of the nipple. Cool. You're going to use the pads of these three fingers of your right hand to start with the inner upper quarter of the left breast. That's right. it. <laughs> and you're going to just move across under the collarbone there, right up to the collarbone. Okay. That's it. And then down an inch and across again, pressing quite firmly right. so you can actually feel the ribs underneath. So it's quite firm. So you have to it be quite be... firm. Yeah. Absolutely. Because okay. you're trying to detect something that might feel like a grain of rice or, oh, or a very okay. small hazelnut or something like that. Okay. And you're going to go all the way down <laughs> to the nipple. Uh, and so you're probably going to go slower than this in real life and then across to the midline again. So you, you're examining that quarter in a grid-like way, not yes. missing any areas. Okay. Then you're going to move down to the inner um, lower quarter of the left breast. Mm -hmm. If necessary, lift the breast up <laughs> using those pads of those right hand, the right hand. You're on the outer lower now, but that's fine. And you're going to go round in turn till you come to the outer upper quarter of the left breast. And this is really important. This okay. is where most of the cancers are found. Again, you're palpating quite firmly. And you're now going to go right up into the armpit. Oh, so you need to go right in. Yeah, but you're going to keep right. that hand down by your hip. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to push right up into the armpit there, okay. feeling quite firmly yes. for any lumps or bumps. OK. And then finally, one you've, once, once you've done the, the other breast, you're going to take your forefinger and thumb uh, just beneath the nipple and pull outwards slightly to see if there's any discharge, any milky discharge, clear right. or bloody discharge. How often would you do that? Do I think? would say to any uh, menstruating woman, every month, a idea. few days after the period, so any fluid retention has gone, because you can get these little fluid uh, right. uh, cysts otherwise, a bit of fluid retention. But if someone's finished menstruating, and let's face it, most women who develop breast cancer are, mm -hmm. are menopausal, mm -hmm. just put a date in the diary, first of the month, last of the month.